Man, we got to stop seeing each other like this. So YouTube, Team Keep It Clean, what's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And I feel like we have made like 50 of these videos uh, for this season alone. Uh, so that's just over the past month and a half. This player gets put on IR, that player gets put on this, uh, and it just, it's a never-ending cycle. But, again, we do know that it is part of football, and it's the unfortunate part of football, but it is a part of football. And with Ben Cleveland, it is no different. Uh, ben Cleveland was placed on injury reserve, of course. Uh, we do remember last night in the game where he got hurt and he got carted off. Now, initially, to me, it didn't look like it was that serious. It, it looked like, like when they showed the replay and everything, I was like, oh, okay. It, it just didn't look like any, it was anything too bad. Um, but it is something significant enough to where he's going to miss at least the next three games. Um, so you got to figure that Ben Powers is going to be there. Another possibility is something to think about is Tyree Phillips. Because Tyree Phillips, they just recently took him off of injury reserve now. They haven't added him to the active roster yet. They took him on off of injury reserve. I believe it was on Saturday. So he has 21 days from then to be added to the active roster. Same way with Rashad Bateman. We expect them to add him to the active roster some anytime this week. Um, so that because the way that injury reserve coming back from injury reserve, it, it can get a little bit tricky and confusing. Because uh, I, I remember when Rashad Bateman and Miles Boykin were both activated, I was confused initially. I'm like, they're activated from injury reserve, but they weren't activated to the active roster. So it, it, it gets a little bit tricky. But anyway, um, with Ben Cleveland being out, Ben Powers would be the full-time left guard now. Uh, but let's look at Ben Cleveland's message, though. Let's read what he had to say. He said, to everyone who tweeted, text, called, or prayed for me last night, thank you. It means the world to know that the flock stands behind their players the way they do. Positive news from the doctors today. So we'll be back soon and better than ever. And I, I think that um, with Ben Cleveland, I think him and the Ravens were like trying to race to get the news out first. Because literally right after he tweeted that, like right after he tweeted that, the Ravens tweeted, we've placed Ben Cleveland on injury reserve. Like literally right at back to back, back to back. Um, but this, we always talk about how timing is everything. Um, and with this timing of this injury, no injury comes at a good time because it's an injury. So it's tough. You don't, you don't want players getting hurt. Um, but the timing with Ben Cleveland going down right when Tyree Phillips could be coming up, uh, that it, not that they cancel out each other, but remember, uh, was it week one of the regular season? Yeah. Week one of the regular season, starting left guard, was Tyree Phillips. It's Tyree Phillips. So with him, he's somebody that you can move around. You can put him at right tackle. You can put him at left tackle. You can put him at guard. You can move him around on that offensive line. So the fact that they obviously do have their starters from right to left is Patrick McCarry, Kevin Zeitler, Bradley Bozeman, uh, Ben Powers, and Alejandro Villanueva. But they're going to be getting healthier as the season goes along. Ronnie Stanley, don't know when he's coming back. It, his status is just like all the way up in the air. So who knows? Uh, but Tyree Phillips, he'll be back any day now. With Ben Cleveland, what it sounds like from his tweet, it sounds like he could be back maybe after like maybe a month. We'll see. But with them getting guys back and getting guys healthier, that's, that's going to help in the long run. Um, so this offensive line, it has been a makeshift offensive line, just like last year when all these guys were getting banged up. Um, but we just got to hope that they can, they can ride this thing out, man. Offensive line, though, is going to have to improve. They're going to have to improve. And when they do improve, it's, it's something that's scary to think about. Because when the offensive line gives them all protection, <laughs> I mean, you've seen it for yourself literally throughout this entire season. When they protect Lamar Jackson, oh gosh, like it's not even fair what they can, what this Ravens offense can do. So it's gonna be nice to to when them boys start coming back. Now, Jawan James, he not coming back this year. He ain't coming back this year. I know Harbaugh was like, oh yeah, there's a possibility. He ain't coming back this year. So that's nobody who any Ravens fans or Ravens are counting on. Getting him back or getting him next year 
is going to be sort of like a bonus because they did sign him to that crazy low deal um, to where basically he's just rehabbing this year with the Ravens. They're paying him to rehab with them, and then next year they see if he's got anything. So it's a nice little insurance plan, a cheap insurance plan, and one of those insurance plans where you have sort of that 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 time frame, that grace period, to where you're like, you know, like, uh, you know, what? if you don't like it, you can go ahead and cancel it. So low risk, potential high reward, uh, but we'll see what happens uh, with Jawan James when he comes back next year. Um, so this offensive line. They took a big blow last night with Ben Cleveland. Somebody else they took a big blow with was uh, Sammy Watkins, but we haven't heard about Sammy Watkins' status yet. We don't know what the status of his hamstring is. Uh, today is Tuesday, um, so they should be practicing tomorrow on Wednesday. So that'll start really letting us know uh, if Sammy Watkins is good to go. And, and we really won't know the full story until Friday because Friday is the day – and I've told y'all this before, and a lot of y'all already know this too, but Friday is the day where guys that are hurt, if they practice on Friday, okay, they should be good to go for Sunday. But if they don't practice on Friday and they don't have a vet, veteran day off, a vet day off, then it's probably not going to be a go for them. Uh, so with the thing about Sammy Watkins' injury is that, yes, it was a big blow, but again, we keep talking about timing. Keep talking about timing. Sammy Watkins goes down last night with the hamstring injury. They obviously had Hollywood, but they had Prochet, DuVernay. Uh, Miles Boykin was just activated to the active roster. He didn't play anything on offense, but he came back. And then, of course, Ravens first-round draft pick rookie wide receiver Rashad Bateman. He's expected to make his debut this week. So where one man goes down, we have several men coming back. So hopefully we can have a full arsenal of all of our wide receivers. But as Ravens fans, it's crazy to think about. The guy that we signed as our number one wide receiver this offseason, he went down, but the Ravens offense kept moving. <laughs> oh, they kept moving. They kept moving, and they didn't just keep moving. Like, they went all the way. They went all the way, and they went off. So it was just a beautiful thing to see. I, I loved it. Sammy Watkins has helped this offense out a lot. Um, he has opened things up for this Ravens offense a lot, um, and he has just made Hollywood's job that much easier, Mark Andrews' job that much easier, DuVernay, he's helped so much with opening up the field and obviously for Lamar Jackson, too. And again, I was somebody I was like, ah, uh, when it came to Sammy Watkins, y'all know I was whatever about it. But when they did sign him, I was like, OK, cool. Let's not put all our eggs in, in that one basket because I just based off of his history, I can't trust that he's going to be on the field, especially with his when it's 17 games. Let's let's still go go out and get somebody else. With T.Y. Hilton, I was not a big fan if they would have signed T.Y. Hilton. With Juju, I did want Juju then. I wanted Juju Smith-Schuster. Um, but Sammy, I was whatever about T.Y. I was like, eh, no. And Juju, I was like, yeah. And, and Galladay, I was like, because, uh, you know, with money. Uh, yeah, Ravens with money, paying the Rodgers. No, nah, it just don't work out like that. But it's worked out for the Ravens with Sammy Watkins. A one-year, $6 million deal, $5 million guaranteed. It worked out. And that was the cheapest deal out of uh, out of T.Y.'s deal, out of Juju's deal, and definitely out of Kenny Galladay's deal. Like Kenny Galladay blows that out of the water by far. But Sammy Watkins' impact on this team has just been great. It's been great. And we all love Sammy Watkins. We appreciate him. We knew he could ball, but we just wanted to know if he could, would be balling on the field, if he would be there. Uh, and he has been for the most part. Obviously, this game was different. but um, So hopefully we'll get him back soon, too. So, Ben Cleveland, um, will, uh, like I said, tomorrow, I'm sure John Harbaugh will speak at the presser, and he'll give us more details about what's going on with Ben Cleveland, so we know exactly uh, what, well, not necessarily exactly what to expect, because he told us Rashad Bateman will be back in September, and anyway, um, but again, he was technically right, because remember, Rashad Bateman, he started practicing in September, so John Harbaugh, hey, you got it, Harbaugh, you were technically right. Now, he won't start playing until October, but he, John Harbaugh said he'll be back. He should be back 
by September. So a win for Harbaugh. So shout out to you, my friend. Uh, but anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I, I love y'all. Um, I, I thank you for supporting. Really, seriously, I thank you for supporting so much. Uh, make sure you check out the newest video that we did, the, like right before this one, uh, about them goalposts. Them goalposts that just keep on moving back and forth when it comes to Lamar Jackson, and they don't stop. We out.